All right, so here we have the math book. Um, you already watched my first video. This one I just wanted to cover just a couple more cool features that are in this explore area. So you saw the part that was in the math books, and now I'm going to go up to the explore areas, and I have third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, where you can get the Spanish content. You can also use the English content here. So I'm going to go to third grade this time. I'm going to hit explore. Again, if you need Spanish, you'd click here under Spanish. And I'm going to go to the first topic that they've been working on. And let's see, let's just go ahead and go to one of the lessons. So let's go to the thousands lesson. And we'll go ahead and view it. So at first, this is going to be the video, like I said before, that they watch in class. And you'd want to make sure the sound is on. And you can't hear anything that comes up on my computer. But, um... So you would go ahead and page through the video to see what they saw in class and how to do this lesson. Um, you go through over here on the left, and like I said before, you have different things to try. What I wanted to show you, let's say you hit guided practice. No, let's hit independent practice. Let's try that one. So independent practice is going to be just like a worksheet that they have done in class. And um, if you need the directions read to you, what's cool is my cursor, when I go over things that can be read to me, it forms a speaker. So the speaker, I'd put over the line that I want read to me, and then i just click it, and it'll Four read it. For 8 ten. through 10, write, write each number, number in standard, standard form. form. It would tell you that. Um, it'll also give me those directions. Will it tell me number 12? No. It'll only give the directions to the problem. So I thought that was a good feature to know and use. Another cool feature is up here, these three items. This one's just the glossary, so if you click on that, up will come all the glossary, and in this case, it's not letting you use it. So, oh well. All right, let's go to this one is awesome. So if you click here, this is all the math tools you can use that are online so you could page through and see what kind of tools they have for you to use place value blocks some teachers have used these to teach this first section this first topic numeration so if you want to make use of place value blocks you'd select it or maybe you want a different tool so you'd scroll through I want counters maybe you want to count things you want number lines stuff like that it tells you what type of things that is um, or you want money because they're working with tenths and hundredths pretty soon in numeration. So maybe you want to use these. Um, maybe you want to make use of fractions, things like that. So let's go ahead and go back to place value blocks because I want to use those. So I'm going to select it. So I've selected that. And I'm going to make use of money too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And now, as you can see down below, I have my money. Now, I had wanted to use place value blocks, so let's go ahead. It's not letting me use both, so we're learning this now. But it's not letting me use both, so I'm going to go back, and I am going to go into it again, and I'm going to collect. I'm going to select the place value blocks. I want to use those, so let's get started. And let's see, this first problem, it already has the place value blocks there. But let's go ahead and go and try this one, number 11, 6,204. How would we show that using place value blocks? Well, I'm going to need one. Bring it up. Place it there. Come on, let me go. Let it go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, because it was six thousand, and then two hundred. So I need two hundreds, which are right. Get my cursor over it. Two hundreds, one, two, and then four, which is just the one. So I have one, two, three, four. And that's what 2,000, no, 6,204 looks like using place value blocks. They've practiced this in class. You could test them at home. They could practice if they wanted to, having fun with them on the computer. 
okay? You can even print this to show your teacher what you are doing. All right, let's X out and just make you aware some sections do have quizzes that you can make use of and it even tells you how you did and gives you things to work on uh, and reteach you if needed. So let's X out and then you would log out. And that's just something I wanted to quickly show you. Cool features.